Oh, good day and welcome to Farming Life Australia. Today's Sunday, and on Sunday I generally do something that I'd like to do instead of something I have to do. And today I thought I'd show you a few of me old-fashioned woodworking tools that I've collected over the years. This morning I give me me old ads a bit of a clean up and sharpen. This old thing's been used on the farm all the time. You can see I busted the handle at one stage. Had intentions of buying another one, but I taped it up and it's kept going, so I kept using it. This is a Braids, that's the brand, side axe. It, it's only beveled and sharpened on one side. It's so you can cut straight down beside something. I prefer them over a normal Tommy Hawk or axe any day. This is a more modern one, different style, a lot bigger. I've only just got it, but um, oh, I've used it a little bit, and I quite like it. it. It's good for a bit bigger things. This is quite an unusual bit of gear. It's a Tommy Hawk and adds all in one. Handy for little things. And one interesting feature of it is that this dimple here, I assume is to put your thumb in when you're choking the tool to do fine work. So that's an interesting tool. This one here is a draw knife. And unfortunately at the moment I don't have a shave horse to use it with, so that's what I want to build today because you really need a shave horse to use these tools. This is a Japanese adds little tiny one. Good thing, deceptive how well it works. This is another little draw knife and the only reason I've got this is because I went to a yard sale thing and it was super cheap. And I got this at the same sale. They are really cheap and I just couldn't really pass it up. This is the timber that I've got to build the shave horse out of and as you can see it's a flitch off the side of a log that I've saw milled up. This is another piece of it here and one of the first things I want to do is establish a centre line or roughly centre line nice and straight to work off. I've got my chalk line on here and I'll just lift it up and ping it. So now that I've got centre lines established on both bits of woods, wood, I'll mark out where I'm actually going to cut with the marking pen. Okay you can see I've drawn lines for where the end is square. I've drawn out the lines for where I have to cut square again on the end. You can see I've... So this part here where it's wide is one with the seat this is the other little part that forms the piece of wood that the work sits on. So I'm going to go ahead with a chainsaw and cut them out. You can see here I'm doing this on this uh, temporary made saw horse thing. And it's really not real good. You know, I just need to make a lot more gear for doing this rough heavy woodwork. But I will get round to it, it's just everything else has just been that busy that I haven't had a chance to get to it. Here I'm just cutting out the spare wood for the transition between the seat and the front part of the shave horse <clears throat> and um, I'm just roughing it out I'll finish it off obviously a lot cleaner and neater than this but it's really hard to cut it and balance this big piece of wood again I need better gear for holding the wood
I've got the pieces roughed out now. This, these pieces here, across here, are 200 wide. That eventually is going to be sitting up like that. For those of you who knows what a shave horse is, you'll see what I'm doing. This here, where this is rough, I've obviously got to round that in and smooth it all down a bit and make it a little bit nicer, but that's the basic rough out done. This particular curb is a little bit tight for this ads. You know, really, to cut a curb that tight to do a nice job, you need an ads with more curb on it. But it'll do to rough it out, and I've got a thing there that'll fix that up. So it should be right. You can see now the rough out's a bit more refined and um, I'll continue to work on that and make it a lot smoother and all these all these corners etc I'll round them off and make it you know nice and user friendly okay now what I'm doing is marking 45 degrees off that corner to be able to figure out where I want to, and the angle I want to drill the legs on. So, so we'll line up with that indicator, paddle line me up while I drill it. So that's the point that I want to, okay. So we go in here 90 millimeters and go here 90 millimeters okay now that's the two points where I want to start where I want to start the drill hole Okay, if you don't have a tenon cutter, which I don't at the moment, what you can do is, see how that hole saw will just fit in that hole? What you can do is put it in your drill, and say you want to fit that in there, you can put it right in the middle of it, like this. Put pass in the drill up. Now all you've got to do is mark that, because that was actually going to be a little bit loose. And I know that the outside of that circle, if I just leave a fraction, will be tight in that hole. This is not ideal, and that's why I'm making a shaving horse to do exactly this, but I can probably make do. I've just got a clamp, and I've clamped the thing to the side of the ute. Okay, now see how I've just got to the outside of that... Uh, mark there where the hole saw did that should be pretty good now I've rotated it bloody hard this wood okay right oh, no, that's dead home okay now I've cut slits in the end of these legs and I've put a wedge just in there. Now when that gets driven in the hole, when it hits the bottom of the hole, it'll force the wedge 
up into here and make the leg very tight. The other thing is that if you look at this wedge, it's slightly wider than the leg and I'm going to just cut that back a bit to make sure that that doesn't interfere. So you can see now it's, um, it's tapered in a little bit. The grain in this piece of wood's running that way and if you put that that way it's trying to split the wood so put it crossways to the grains not a bad idea okay that's got it started and we'll do the same with the next one righto Right, that's home, you can hear the difference. That's home. Okay. So, they're really tight, no problems. I've got to obviously cut them off to length. He's on the legs and that brick there won't be a brick later on, it'll be a block of wood and depending on how high it's comfortable, I'll make a block of wood to suit that sits there. I've got to make the piece of wood that goes down here that swings backwards and forwards that you push with your feet to do the clamp. But there's a bit to do and this video is getting well and truly long enough. I'm going to make another video of finishing it and how I use the shave horse and probably make something on it so you can see what you can actually make with it. Thanks a lot for watching this edition of Farming Life Australia. See you later, we'll see you next time.